Guys, I know I'm still a newbie, but I think it's time to upgrade to a new racket. Dude, I have just a racket for you. It's a bona fide spin monster with a beautiful black and yellow aesthetic. I think I know what you're talking about. A reputable brand endorsing some of the finest ATP pros out there. Gotta love rap. I love Kevin Anderson. Wait, Wait what? what? I'm talking about the Babolat Pure Aero. I think you mean the Dunlop SX300 Tour. Dude, FSI spin technology with oblong grommets to maximize bite. Power grid string tech, facilitating string movement and allowing snapback. But cortex in the hoop means a softer feel and impact. Sonic core and Infinergy, allowing for a dampening and comfort. You can't resist this beautiful banana. Who needs a banana when you have a plantain? Nadal, Sangha, Ali Asim, Michael Moe, and we still catch Manovich. See if I care. You can keep them. We still have Query, Sock, Harrison. Uh, okay, bad example. But uh, I said Nadal, right? You wish you were Nadal. Rafa, Rafa. Unbelievable. Um. You know, you kind of remind me of Rafa Nadal. Wait, really? Rafa, not at all. Nice slam. I know, just one of 22. Buzz off, Babylon bro. Hey, eat dirt, Lophead. Guys, why don't you just settle it the proper way? That's a good idea. Oh. Roll me back. Why don't you just play for it? Okay. <laughs> We're back at the crib, just finished the play test. Ben, how do these, uh, let's start with specs, good starting point. How do these compare? So these bad boys both have a 100 square inch head size. Uh, they both have a 16 by 19 string pattern, which is a very spin friendly frame. And speaking of the frame, the beam width is very similar on both of these bad boys. You're looking at 23 on the top and about 26 on the, uh, on the sides. So on paper, you would think that they're pretty similar. And as the marketing says, they're both spin frames. Yeah, certainly going for the same demographic in the market. Um, they contrast, the, probably the biggest factor is the weight. 11.7 for the Dunlop, quite a heavy son of a gun right there. This is more of your standard tweener weight, 11.2 strung up. And uh, six points headlight for the Dunlop, four points for the Babylon. Uh, enough about specs though. How do they play, Ben? What are your thoughts? Oh man, uh, starting off as a Babylon bro, I was uh, <laughs> I was really disappointed when I started hitting with the Bab. It was a, kind of a hollow frame. It was hard to generate power. It felt like my shots, like. I had to be very careful with the sweet spot. There were it was really easy to hit rainbows. Like it was difficult to keep it down, and it was hard to generate power deep on the baseline. Uh, but this bad boy, on the other hand, as my friend put it, it's a freaking tree trunk. It uh, power. There was no shortage of power with this thing. I felt like I could return balls with pace and a lot of spin. Um, it was really easy to keep the balls down low, and the slice was oh so sweet. So, uh, yeah, I agree 100 percent. Considering the similarities in the specs, the, the differences in how it felt in terms of stability and power was uh, remarkable, night and day. This bad boy fluttered a lot, that Babylon that is. If you hit it off to the side, you could just feel it get pushed around. Uh, like you said, uh, four, uh, four hands felt loopy, too, too loopy. But the Dunlop, it was, you were just crushing the ball. Plenty of plow through felt amazing. The only thing I really struggled out a, a bit was serve because it's cumbersome, it's tough to maneuver, but if you did get the, the motion correct, you could just vaporize the serve. Yeah, it really cracks off the string bed. Yeah. I mean, it's Dunlop S, supposedly stands for spin, ah. but I, I'm not sure if that stands for either stability or sledgehammer. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this, this bad boy just crushes balls. Um, so Ben, uh, final thoughts, or actually, let's talk about the elephant in the room. I don't want to talk about the elephant. You are a Babylon bro in the intro. What the heck are you doing wheeling this Dunlop now? Uh, well, from the moment I picked her up, I just, I just knew. I couldn't stop thinking about the strokes, the forehand, the backhand. It just felt so good. It just popped. And uh, I, I couldn't leave the court without it in my possession. That's right, folks. I had this, this Dunlop posted on eBay, trying to make a small profit. And he made me end the listing early 
as he bought it on the spot, cold hard cash, and took it away in his tennis bag. Um, I turned a battle up, bro into a lop head. Dunlop till I die. Yep. The dub goes to the Dunlop. Uh, that's pretty much all we got. I had a lot of fun making this video. If you got a kick out of it, consider subscribing, maybe even giving us a like. And if you want to buy this thing, it's currently listed on eBay from the Racketeer. <laughs> Check us out, baby. Uh, that's all we got. Remember, at Trashman Tennis, it's all about the tennis trash we've been. Later.